Hey guys, welcome back to Someone's PC. Today we have for you our uh, second segment of uh, week one for our Victory Road to World Series. And also today we have our fourth and final member, Mark Albright. Mark, why don't you go ahead and tell them what this week's video is going to be all about. Hey guys, so this week's video is going to be a quick breakdown on what decks you could expect to see at Worlds. Um, they're going to go over different matchups for each deck and what they think it can do uh, performance-wise. Alright, so with that, uh, Russ and Dylan, go and take it away with uh, Johnny Raven. Um, we're going to get into what everyone even clicks on our videos for, uh, our opinions of decks. We don't have any deck lists right now, we're going to have those in our next video once we play this a little bit more. But, um... Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, and then give a reason why thumbs down, or give a reason why you do uh, you thumbed it in such a the way. way you did, yeah. in, the, in such a way. So we just um, get to name decks and then say yeah, whether. Okay, it's okay, okay. So metal, right. metal. I know I got a list. I got a list. We're good. All right. <laughs> uh, Johnny. Like straight metal. Yeah, metal. So yes, general. Chase Chase Maloney metal. Okay. Uh <sighs> I'm so torn on this. Like. I'm going to put it in the middle right now, because I'm really not sure how good it is. I, re I really just don't like it, but I do like it. It's so weird. What about it don't you like? I, It just doesn't fire. really seem like it could <laughs> handle <laughs> things. <laughs> it doesn't seem like an, it could handle things well, but then it does, and I'm just not sure how it actually gets through any matchup. If Ron's on with a basic, it would be better. Yeah, obviously. obviously. Good <laughs> okay, Dylan just trying to do too much here. Okay, so since people are going to blow us up, do you play Pokemon Fan Club in it? Yes or no? Uh, no. No? no? Garbage? It, it's yeah. just too slow. Alright. So a Skyfield shaming kind of thing, just like you guys did with your Cling Cling variant, is a more logical approach with this metal instead of how it works. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, no? Yes? No? yes? Right. Yeah, you don't even necessarily need Skyfield, but like at least like you need Shaman and at least Repeat Ball, I think. Okay. Like. I'll never play Metal, so no. Thumbs down, I hate that deck. Just, I, think it's you, I think it's one of the best decks. If you open bad, you lose. I don't like that. I'd rather like, you know, I open a Zubat. Peace. I got a Juniper. I'm about to win. This is like, the guy that plays two stage twos and a stage one in Nationals. <laughs> hey, I actually could have won a bunch of those if I started using um, Duskull's Revival better. See, like... Bronze like on killing two years with the deck, over three thousand games, Fly and I'm Flygon still Dust learning. Right? Flygon Dust Nor right you though. That was so juicy. But, but Bronze on, if you don't set up, man, you just lose. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I think I think it's pretty good. You set up most of the time with a good list. Um, I think the problem is everybody else also knows it's good, so people are going to be ready for it. But I think it's a super solid deck. I think it's one of the best decks. Okay. Oh, absolutely. There's yeah. no denying that. Deck sucks. Yo, Wyland. Cling cling. Your, your guys, because um, you guys don't know, Johnny actually came up with most of the build, and then Dylan was just so torn. Um, throughout the night, he didn't know what he was going to play, and he woke up, he's like, alright, cling cling in it, boys, let's go crazy. I kind of woke Johnny up at like 4.35 a.m. <laughs> so, yes, Dude, uh, Johnny? Yes, no? It's, it's so good. Okay. Two thumbs up. Except against Sides with the Garbador. And it five, does, and but... I even said that that was like the one loss we were going to take. It's just very unfortunate that so, it happened the way it did. Yeah, yeah if Seismito Garbador rides in popularity because of U.S. Nationals, because people bandwagon, then Kling Kling becomes worse. But if everybody just counters Seismito Garbador, nobody actually plays it, maybe it becomes better. I think it's like riskier than it was for Nationals. but Oh, definitely. No, for it's still, Nationals, it was a ridiculously good play. <sighs> if you forget about Kling Kling, you will probably be very sad. <laughs> yes, like somebody, definitely. you might run into it. I feel like people are going to be more scared to play it day one than day two, though, because I feel like more people are going to play Seismito Garbador day one because Seismito is good, Seismito is safe, Seismito is very like, strong card. Yeah. And as soon as people go with that mindset, it makes Kling Kling a worse deck, and then you're better off just countering Seismito than you are actually playing Kling Kling. So, but then day two, things could switch up. Not sure how they will, but okay. Um. Do you think the foreigners are going to be playing Kling Kling? And by foreigners, I mean if you're not in the U.S. and Canada, sorry, anybody else. I mean, some of them probably will, but not all of them. I, I don't know. Like, all the, like, a lot of people just group Europe into one, but Europe is actually, like, a lot of small different, yeah. like, countries. Like, Europe's a continent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Mega Manetric. Quad. Or with water. Whatever. You pick it. It's the same deck. 
I think every single I think Mega Manectric is very good, and every Mega Manectric is like a very good metagame play. But I feel like every single Mega Manectric deck, no matter how you build it, always has one weakness, and you could kind of like pick and choose what that weakness is depending on what cards you splash with it. But you're always going to lose to something. Like there's not enough space in the deck for it to set up consistently, and for you to beat everything from testing it extensively before nationals. But I feel like if you pick the right deck to lose to, like or two decks to lose to maybe, like and then just make it really consistent and tech for the other things, then it might be really strong for that world. Okay. It's just so versatile. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a think. very strong card, but I don't like it as a deck. And I just don't see it doing well. I don't really understand how it did well at nationals. Play Pokemon but, Center, lady. It fixes all your problems. There you go. Rusty, <laughs> you got man. it. Rusty is so good. That's the only reason. Hippowdon. That's the only reason the deck is such a oh, good yeah, card. Hippowdon. Hippowdon. Hippowdon's the deck that I keep wanting to suggest. And then as soon as we finish the conversation, Russ suggests a new deck. No, I, because I, no. He, I know, I know, I know, but I just want to talk about it. Did you see his list, though? I actually haven't played yeah. it. I'm really excited yeah, to play I it. Play it we'll play it this weekend, whenever. I need to. This, this yeah. I think it has a lot of. I don't know. I feel like. It, the list looks really bad, and like it looks like there's a lot of problems in Heat with Heatron, but there are, Metal was at the event, and it still made top 8, so maybe this deck is just the sleeper thing that everybody's just going to discount. Okay. And it's I'm actually test against it, definitely. Yeah, I'm excited. It might can, you, can you combine it with something better than his Toad and Lander is, though? No, I think the strategy with Hippowdon is just to eliminate all their 90Xs and win. Like, you put such like a focus on Hippowdon, it just kind of like, uh, you, like you have this alternate win condition where you try and win by getting them stuck with all the axes. And I think yeah, there might maybe there's better Pokemon to accomplish that goal, but it's gonna be very focused on a on no matter what you do. Okay. So yeah. I don't know. It seems like it has some more potential than people is giving it credit for, but I don't I don't foresee it being a deck that I'm gonna play. I mean but because he played a Powdon, he was forced to play the Fighting and the Double Carlos, and the two best Pokemon to help utilize that are Toad and Lander, so... He could just I mean, add in, like, some, some Grass Energy, and then there Flag, are some other Flygon could've like, got there. Like, Halucci, is... yeah. That you can fight against Double Colorless. <laughs> oh yeah, Halucci wasn't good. Yeah, but it's not good. No, oh, Halucci, yeah. Halucci Axe is really good. He's You're sleeping, sleeping on it. He's sleeping on it, man. We, we tested it during Dawn Fan. This is, this is good air. Oh, god damn. Here we go again. Right. Next deck. Toad Garb. I hate Klesinski's yeah, list. I'll interrupt everyone. That deck sucks. I hate yeah. that list. It was a bad deck. I don't think so. He, he's a great player, and that's why he got there. Like, there's a reason why. And we're not going to talk about coin flipping, because, yeah, we agree not to. But, I mean, hey, he stomped everyone in top eight. Dice. Easy. Yeah, Tons I mean, of tails. Gotta... I saw it. Tons of tails. I mean, he got two extremely winnable matchups in but, top but, eight, top four. But that's the benefit to it, you know? It is. Like, that's, that's what people want to do. They want to be like, all right, if you're playing something cute, you lost. Hopefully, I run into cute people all day. I played against Metal twice out of, like, 15 best of three. <laughs> Between Cling Clang, Straight Metal, and Metal Ray. I don't think that Metal Ray was, like... Although it was like the it was like a deck that everybody was afraid of, but it wasn't like the deck that everybody played, like the deck of the tournament. Like I feel like the average person only ran into a couple of them. Okay. So yeah, I only ran into one. I was just expecting to run into more. Yeah, like I hit one day one, one day two, and I was like, all right. Did you win, Johnny? I did. Ooh. I did. Very easy win. I found it. Peace. Um, Toad bats. Ah, uh, the I old think... uh, Christy Britton. I think Christie's list with them with the Manectrix included is better than Toad Guard, but I feel like now I'm in the minor. I feel like that was like the popular opinion heading into nationals, but now I feel like the popular opinion is that Garbodor is better because it's better against Bronzong. Maybe that's true. I just like the Manectric version better. I feel like it has yeah. more options, and it also deals with non cling cling metal. Maybe I just want cling cling to be good. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Forcing so. it, cling cling everywhere. <laughs> Same with you, Johnny. Or how do you feel I about mean, how do you feel about Tobats? Do you think it, do you think it's better than Garb? Um, but I don't see a way a way, a way it can beat Wailord, so that's why I'm discounting it so much. Exactly. I, I, I see a way, but well, I don't see. Have you seen our save here? I don't think can beat Wailord, whether you're doing Garb or Bats without. I mean, you just throw in the bundle bee, and then it's an auto win. But whatever. Uh, oh, but I do like the Bats more fire. than Garbodor, but Garbodor obviously helps you beat Metal more, so it, it's very tough. But I think Garbodor is the better call. But I think Bats is the better deck. 
That makes sense, as stupid as it sounds. Like <laughs> That's I good, like because it. it didn't really sound that well coming okay, out. No, it, sounded, it sounded fine, it sounded fine. Makes sense. No, you can be like, alright, you know, I like Bats red, are... but, you know, purple's the call. Well, Bats has more <laughs> options, but just like in this very specific metagame, it's better to yeah. shut off ability. Right. Exactly. Um, the Dylan Dryer, Yavalto Guard. That's pretty bad. Well, at least now, very now bad. Now, now we're not trying to shot Dylan. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The meta game, yeah, not his meta list game. or him was bad. Just I feel like Yveltal no, is a just... bad deck right now. But I'm always somebody who talks down about Yveltal. So again, by uh, there's too much Monectric. There was so much Monectric at Nationals. I uh, don't see Yveltal dealing with that in any way, shape, or form. I think Yveltal Nine Tails is more promised than. Uh, well, that, that's what Sosa did, and he still got Savage. Love I mean, because yeah, there was an unexpected amount of Monectric, but like then you at least get to play Shadow Circle and stuff. But even like with Yveltal with Shadow Circle, it doesn't trade super favorably with Manectric and Max Potion. Okay. And even then, your metal matchup is still not that good. Yeah. Manageable. It, <laughs> no, manageable. It's manageable, but it's on the opposite side of where you actually want it. Okay. Now we're going to get into some old school stuff, followed by Rogues. Uh, Night March. Yes. No, uh, I think it has Johnny. more potential than it did heading into nationals. Okay. But I kind of said that in my article. I think it's in a very interesting spot. I think it could actually do something. You just have to be able to beat all the Aegis Slash, I guess. Because right now, metal is. Yeah, if I mean, you if can you deal with Aegis Slash. Solid way, then you're good. But what do you feel about Night March, Russ? I know you hate it. You always, you always hate it. I don't. That. I don't like. It's so childish, man. I come from Yu-Gi-Oh, Lice Warren. That's all it is. It's just. So a deck being easy to play makes it bad. No, 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 no. No, just, I, you I mill your entire deck to win the game, basically. I don't, I don't think it's bad at all. I don't think Lightstorm is bad. Lightstorm is good. Okay. Um, but I would, I myself would never pilot it just because, like, the prizes, the potential hands are just going to be so garbage. And if I have a garbage hand, I'd rather be looking at some Flygon and Dustnor than to be looking at this piece of crap. Like me I don't know. Joltik is pretty adorable. No, Joltik's the only cute one. That's why we have him on the... On the little little picture down bottom. Oh man, I got I've got pumpkins. Pumpkaboo looks like a jacket. Don't think don't think cute. <laughs> Pumpkaboo is cute. cute. Uh, what? No, he's pretty not? cute. What? I think yeah. I think Lampen is the only Lampen's like kind of spooky. Yo, Lampen's but... adorable. He sits on and your desk. That's why you pitch him first. Him. Yeah, that's why you pitch him first. <laughs> <All right>. Fired. <laughs> um, Landy Bat slaughtered foreign nationals. It did horrible at ours. Um, how do you feel about it, Johnny? It will continue to do bad. Okay. Uh, its metal matchup is not as good as I would like it, and it can beat Manectric. It can beat Manectric like very it. well, but it doesn't actually bats. beat all Manectric variants. Yeah. It doesn't With, beat the Articuno one. Yeah, it doesn't beat the Articuno. They can just power up a Keldeo if they really wanted to. It, I just don't see it doing well. Which is unfortunate. I, like, I actually like the deck. I feel like if we kept this format for like a year, there would be like some part in the cycle where like Landy Bats would phase in again because people would start taking the loss to Landy Bats with like Manectric decks oh, stop playing Arctic Uno. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. just like with Worlds immediately coming up with like the next big event, I feel like Landy Bats won't do well. But I just feel like it's at the bad part in the cycle. Yeah. Landy just because there's. Sucks. I'm not playing it. Yeah. I don't recommend it. Uh, Wouldn't it's... recommend. Oh, no. No, no, like, no, if, no. if you can hit your scoop ups, cool. But if you're comfortable with it, and that's the only thing you gotta play. That's fine. But I just I wouldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Now with now with Dylan topping with Kling Kling. Now with you guys building such a beast Kling Kling variant, like you just you just sit there and take it. And it yeah, the side of Kling Kling. It's not fun. Um, BG. A new age BG. Um, I saw. Oh. I don't remember his name. He was in Georgia running this sweet. Plasma badge, multiple oh, shaman. Oh, plasma badge and reacts. shamans. Yeah. Don't play against Raichu or Rayquaza, and then it's a good deck. <laughs> or fire. Well, he took a game of Jose. Jose was running that um, the basic white Rayquaza. It was good. Winning one out of three doesn't do you anything. <laughs> no. It does in my heart. It, yeah, you it, makes, you, it makes you feel better. I mean, Grad on Dragonite beat Rizzi and Genesec with a Golbat and Headringer. That doesn't mean that it's a good matchup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you fit Raichu into it and make it work? No. I mean, so then you have a Raichu deck with random grassy X's versus the Raichu uh, deck. I've never been back. a fan of that. No, They've done it in the past. Too. I've never been a fan. It might work, but it's not going to fix your Raichu and Rayquaza matchup. 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, like the matchups you're putting in for it isn't going to help anyway. Yeah. Right. Um, right, two bets. Plus X, Suicune, whatever you want to play, Mill Tank. Yeah. I think it's better for Worlds than it was for US Nationals because kind of the target went off its head. I feel like if people figure out a way for Raichu to beat Aegislash consistently, then Raichu is before. Johnny, same thing? Yeah, basically. Aegislash is the only thing holding it back right now. It's still really solid deck. Manectric doesn't really trade that favorably into it. Actually, Manetric could do well against it. I'm, I'm not. No, I, I saw people I just stop looking mess out of Raichu with Manetric because they only yeah. had, they only had one Pikachu and one Raichu established, and then Manetric they could do the second Raichu tails. online, and then they played four Rough Seas and then locked the Rough Seas in place, and they didn't even play Nine Tails, and it was. I don't know. You feel like you're just reading to your other Manetric and just kind of slaughtered it. Without Nine Tails, the Raichu deck wins most of the time. Sometimes the Raichu player opens that. Like if the Manetric player goes first and the Raichu player doesn't get a good start, then Manetric can win. But okay. if Raichu goes first or if it opens with a lot of basics, then they're going to body Manetric if they get to play their Sky Feel. Okay, so it gets thumbs? Yes? Good thumbs? I think it has potential. I mean, it's not like super good. It, it like, depends if you can beat Age of Slash and if people stop playing Nine Tails and oh. Manetric. Yeah, depends. Um, Going into this conversation, I thought it was going to be good, but no, I'd, uh, I'm going to change my vote. I don't, I don't like it. Okay. Tiny is easily slain. <laughs> no, I just think of more things when I start talking. <laughs> that happens all the time. Um, Meta Rayquaza. Um, both, two, two different variants. There's the, uh, the Sock build without Altaria, and then there's the Altaria build. Winona. Winona Boy. So, I Dylan, like Dylan, your opinion on it. I like the Winona build better. I don't know. I think I think the soft build is almost like metal, like kind of like a metal, like Bronzong deck with like the Quasi Tech in, and then like the Squeaky, I guess, version, and like all the modified Squeaky builds, like the one I posted in my uh, like prizes article before Nats was kind of like uh, just like more focused on Requaza, which is Bronzong to keep it going. It's kind of two different approaches to the deck, but okay. I think the Altaria build is better with all the Manectric that running around and the potential that Night March or Raichu could be lurking. Johnny, same for you? Or yeah, the Altaria, the Altaria version is definitely better for the metagame that we're given. Uh, I don't like the deck in general. I tried it day before Nationals and I just couldn't really get a feel for it. It's obviously extremely, extremely powerful, but if you're going to play it, you have to play Altaria in it, I feel. Altaria well, doesn't hurt your consistency that much at all. Like basically, no, they just doesn't. they just chose to play a lot of other tech attackers instead of playing the Altaria because they didn't think that people were going to play Manectric, which was yeah, incorrect that was, in hindsight. Part crazy. of my incentive for playing Kling Kling was because I thought that there were there was some Manectric in the open gaming room, and just like that one year where there was a Gothitelic somewhere in the open gaming room, that was like a pretty decent player. And I did not, I did not like think like, hmm, if this guy thinks it's good, maybe other people think it's good. He extrapolated. <laughs> the only it. thing I saw in the open gaming room was Manectric and Metal Ray. Yeah, that's all I saw. I was like, oh, playing, playing, good against those, and that's why I made the last minute switch. Yeah, uh, Don Fan. Yeah, I want Don Fan to be good. It has some, has some problems. It damage output is like really really low. Donkin was like really good when you could promote annoying Pokemon and two shot all their EXs. Now it's kinda like you can there's like even more annoying things you can promote, but you like three and four shot their Pokemon. <laughs> it's actually very terrible. You get basically give them all the time in the world to life and their Pokemon. You trade poorly against Heatron. You can focus Sash your Don fan, but then you like four shot Requaz and your damage output goes even down even more with out muscle band and silver bango. Like Every way I try and make the deck work, just it, it wins some matchups, but it just it doesn't seem super good in this meta game. Yeah. Johnny, same thing. I mean, basically, like your metal matchup isn't that good, even if you play like a couple Silent Labs. Uh, can't really deal with a bunch of Lysanders. Like Dylan said, you three, four shot most DXs now, and oh, that's just storm though. That was my. <laughs> It, it's still, three or four it's shots still a really unfavorable trade for you. <laughs> Stupid elephant. Why? No, I love the deck. Yeah. I really do, but I was just I don't so see happy it. to talk about his hat on and I was like, wow, there's so many boring decks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if if uh you expect a lot of Manetric, is Don Fane even a good call then? 
Like, 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 like you're, it might you're be. expecting Manetric, but is it worth it? Because everything else seems somewhat unfavorable. Un unfavorable I guess in the right metagame, Don Fan is good. I'm just imagining that Rekwazis and Metal is still going to be a deck, and I can't get Don Fan to be super good against that. I guess we get a Don Fan that's good against Rekwazis and Metal. It's not, it's good. If you're expecting to know. play against six or seven Manetric decks, then yes, it's a good call. <laughs> Then why don't you play our good friend Takadon? <laughs> Alright, so that's, that was the, the final deck, which is a Powdown. So... We already talked about it, Powdown. I know, I know we already talked about it, but... Um, yeah, why, everybody's sleeping on it. He's why, gonna, he's why, gonna, uh, why not Beautiful? Uh, like, why not... Have you seen Powdown? It's, it's a stage one, it's fighting type. It, uh, it's easier to eliminate all their non-yaxes, because it, you can devote space to size and healing cards and Landry. Like I think, I think on paper at least he was able to win a lot of his games because some decks like they play non axes but they play a finite number of non axes So if you use the Paladin and you attack with it, you force them to bring up their non axe And then if you just get an army of the Paladins and have like play a couple healing cards, then you kill the non axes and then you win the game. It's like an yeah. alternate link. And like you but, said, you have all the fighting support with the strong energy, the fighting stadium, like. It you're gonna be doing a lot of damage too. Alright. What about Kyogre? I don't wanna talk about that. That shit sucks. That made me so depressed. I think Kyogre is better than a lot of decks that we talked about. I know, but <laughs> still, in general, like, 12 energy? Oh my gosh, those hands are it's horrible. So it was like 8 games in a row. Russell, it's we so played the next 3 games. Hard Russell pass. Russell played the next 3 games. Hard I pass. never saw Russell play the deck more than 3 games. Hard pass. Russell had a poor sample size. Hard but hard I feel pass like back. I feel like Kyogre is worth looking into because two of them made the top 16, and it's a lot better than some of the other decks that we, we discussed. I think Kyogre has a lot of potential. I think that's another deck that people might might regret not testing. Okay. At oh, least, definitely. Uh, at least testing against. No, definitely test against it. Um, dang, dude, it's been an hour, almost an hour. It's been like 50 something. Yeah, we minutes. went through so many, so many decks that I didn't so even decks, know. So many decks, so many ideas. Okay. Um, <laughs> closing thoughts. Going into this weekend, um, our first official weekend of testing, because last weekend we didn't do shit. Um, well, we should, we, testing is a thing that we should do this weekend. Yeah, um, let's do that. Gotta get motivated. I feel like the hardest part about preparing for Worlds is actually getting motivated to test, because it's like you just kind of look at national results, and it's like, wow, there's eight different decks, I don't even know where to start. And then you just kind of don't start, and then Worlds is in a week. And then this pretty much summarizes my preparation for the entire season. <laughs> Basically. It's very unfortunate. So, I'm just trying to become, I think just in general, people should just, if you can motivate yourself to start testing for Worlds now, you'll do a lot better than if you start testing in a month. Because, like, the idea is that, uh, like, if you start testing right now, like, the idea is that you'd have, like, going into Worlds, um, like, if you waited, like, until the week before, you'd have, like, a week from now. And then, like, like imagine, like, going into Nationals, like, if you had a month, to uh, like, a month more to test your deck, how much more prepared you would have been, like, Testing like now instead of later is always good. Big, big yeah. difference, yeah. I gotta actually do that though. I gotta listen to my own advice. But gotcha. um, I don't know. We kind of yeah. You can you start testing? Are you doing I've, I've already I've already started testing. I've, oh, okay. I've been act me and Greg know, actually been working on too. Because we're like all over the place. No, um, uh, I just went Nate, and I'm just like. <laughs> I've been smacking Nate around with a night march, which has been hilarious. Okay. Uh. Me and Greg have been testing out some some juicy stuff. I'll send you about later. Okay, sounds but good. But lose the toad, so I'm not sure if I actually want to go with it. <laughs> Dude, that's all, that's every idea I ever have. I if you're gonna enough. lose the size of the toad, just play clink clang, shiny. I mean that that's that's an option. I'm wow. also testing that, and it's been testing so nicely. When we were in the it's hotel so room and we we're just sitting down, I was like, fly on with this. How's your toad matchup? Dylan, shut up. Don't worry about, <laughs> don't worry about that, man. He's like, And then, right. like, I, I, I literally spent, like, eight hours, like, testing that deck with you between, like, dinner breaks and stuff. And then, like, we actually tested the toad match at the 4 a.m. And then I'm like, wow, this is terrible. And then I gave up on the deck, and I'm like, wow, why did I play against this for eight hours? No, we believe in this. <laughs> and you wake me up. <laughs> why did I encourage Russell? I should have just shut him down early. You really should have. <laughs> you should have just been like, all right, you're going to start with toad this time. Just so we can, we can push this away. 
Um, any other closing thoughts? Uh, Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, Johnny. I think any shout outs. Team Richmond Comics, no. anything? No? Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> no, come on. I okay. got a shout out to Greg, Richmond Comics, uh, Team Inferno, doing all year. Do it again next year. Uh, Let it burn. Oh yeah, Dylan, congrats on um, 60 Cards, Invitational, very controversial, Brazilian, all that stuff, voting system. You saw that, right? Or no? Oh my uh, god. <laughs> I saw, I saw like the first day I was winning in the poll, and then I saw people from other countries had like a thousand votes. And I was like, okay, they're probably going to discount this and invite me. And then they did. So I was like, okay. And I was thankful for that. So Cocky thank you. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. I thank you for everybody that like wanted me to wanted me to play and did vote for me originally. So I appreciate it. And I'll, I'll try and I'll try and come up with something yeah. cool. All right. Yeah. I, did, I didn't vote for you. Suck. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it really, it might depend on what kind of deck Johnny gives me, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll All see right. what I can do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, we'll see you again next time. We'll probably have a video out um, this weekend, Sunday, probably. Yeah, about like what decks we've been testing and stuff. Yeah, like, and how testing's right. going. Um, we're going to have deck lists for you then. Um, yeah. So if, we you're, if you're just here to click and then um, net deck or whatever else you guys want to call it, then that's Wait till next week weekend. Fun. Yeah, wait till next weekend. <laughs> and then um, hopefully you set this entire hour long video just to figure that out. So good for you. Uh, right now we're just kind of Good. testing the list that are essentially made top 8 and top 16 on like Pokemon. Yeah. Com, so. um, um, we're going to start doing proxy videos where Dylan, myself, our team, and then hopefully Johnny and everyone else on Team Inferno is going to start playtesting next format um, with us expecting X and Y on. Um, and we're just going to put proxies in cards and then we're actually going to have like live games. Um, we're going to record the game and then we're going to do commentary on our games. And why we chose the cards that we did. This is news to um, me, but it sounds like fun. Well, we discussed this in the <laughs> chat. What the heck? I haven't talked to Johnny about it. But no, yeah, this, that, this is news to me. <laughs> Johnny and me are just like, well, I that think you were playing. Good I, think, I think you were playing Hearthstone at the time, and you were just too lazy to look. Uh, probably Hearthstone or first of all, probably a different kind of no, game. No, Chris, Chris, and then Mark were just like, this sounds like a really good idea. This is beast, awesome. And then, no, I like and it. And then yeah. I, I could have sworn it said, uh, "Seen by Dylan" or "Everyone." <laughs> I mean, there's a chance that I just clicked on all my chats so that the messenger and the notification <laughs> thing go away. <laughs> okay, Good job, Dylan. Dylan, are you down to do this? Yeah, I said it sounds like okay, fine. Awesome. I just said it sounds like news to me. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. See you guys. Yeah.